Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I am super excited for this video because I'm going to be doing an unboxing kind of makeup haul. So I was out of town for two weeks because I was visiting my older sister in North Carolina and pretty much every single day my mom was texting me, you got another package, you got another package get another package and it was just so weird because PR can be so sporadic and just like at different times and like normally I only get like maybe one to two packages per week if that like I said it can be very random so for some reason when I was out of town everything just decided to come in as well as three different orders that I had personally placed myself had come in during that vacation time so I figured I would take advantage of this video to get your guys' feedback on what you want to see first and what products are the most intriguing to you this is definitely not like a, oh look what I got kind of thing that is not me at all um, and I I rarely ever do videos like this especially because when it's when it was when it, I did bigger hauls before my low buy and it was like balanced I could make like that felt okay but now that I'm on my low buy and it's like less me and more brands it does feel like I want to just tread carefully because I don't want you guys to think that I'm either pushing things or that I'm you know just being one of those people who just is like look at all this that I have because it's just not who I am so I'm not gonna repeat myself too much but I will say in case you're wondering what's happening on my face I did just film my boxy charm unboxing for the month of July and that'll be up on the 8th because boxy charm has a rule that you can't post about the what's in the box until the 7th a lot of people break the rule but I'm not a rule breaker so it'll be up on the 8th because the 7th is a Sunday which is any makeup releases so Let's just go ahead and jump on in. All right, so I did actually already open two different packages myself just because it was for a video that I filmed yesterday. But first off, I made a ColourPop order and I was excited about it because I got the Uh Huh Honey Palette, which is super cute. I have a video up on this already and it just looks like this. Although I will say I've, it's been brought to my attention that the glitter shade is not intended for use on the eye, which makes me so frustrated and annoyed that it's in an eyeshadow palette when you're not supposed to put it on your eye. And I'm just not willing to take risks like that. Like I'm not going to put something on my face, like something that could really damage my eyes. If it's something that's gonna stain them, I'm like, who cares? But if it's something that could actually get in there and scratch or I don't know, I'm just very sensitive on my eyes, so I am much less happy with this palette after I found that out, but it I've got a video up on it, so if you want to see that, you can. So when I placed my ColourPop order, I was in a little bit of a dilemma because it was like either like spend $30 and get free shipping or end up spending like $18 on one palette. So I decided to go ahead and do the route to get free shipping and make a little bit more of an order. I only ordered four things. Um, but I was just trying to be very careful with myself. I didn't want to break my low buy rules, which I did mention before that if I was close to free shipping, I could do that. So I did order an extra Uh Huh Honey Pot as a gift for a uh, good friend. Uh, but unfortunately, ColourPop didn't put in my order, but that's great. They said that they'll send it in five to seven days. So I ended up getting two products I've been lusting after from ColourPop for a while. And it's something that I feel like I don't have anything else in my collection like. There's a lot of things on ColourPop that I want, like the Blue Moon palette or the sticks, like little blush things. But I have things I could achieve looks without those with. Does that make sense? So I ended up grabbing two of the Cram Gel Color because... I feel like Paulina always talks about these and they look really, really beautiful and I was just excited about them. So I got two different shades I don't own in any gel eyeliners. I love doing a fun color on the waterline. So I don't know. I just thought I would give these a try. The first shade I got is Zulu, which, oh my God, that looks weird. It's got like a hole through it. Is that normal? Does that look a little bit weird or is it just me? And then the other shade that I got is Crybaby. What a perfect shade for me. I'm such a crier. Yeah, see that one looks normal. Just a really beautiful light purple. So I'm excited to give those a try and use them on my waterline and see if I end up wanting to buy more colors eventually. But as of right now, I thought this was a good way, you know, instead of having to pay the extra money for shipping, just to try something I'd been wanting, but without doing something repetitive to my collection, which is pretty hard to do when you have a collection my size. So that was my ColourPop order. Next in my hands here, I have, this is, I believe this is a highlighter from Paul and Joe Beauty. I think this was something that I applied for on Octoly. This was the only thing. 
Okay, there's three products in here. You see six things. That's because they do uh, recyclable packaging, which is awesome. But I, I thought I only ordered or applied for one highlighter. So, oh, the packaging is so cute. Okay. Wait, lipstick. I thought it was a highlighter. What world am I in? Let me check. Let me check and see what I applied for. Oh, they're cat lipsticks. I thought they were cat highlighters. Wow. Wow, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My brain, it's just fried apparently. But I love Paul and Joe Beauty. I love getting to try their products. So let me just pop these in really quickly and then I'll show them to you. Just to show you actually really quick, this is what their lipsticks come in. They look like this. You can just pop that little thing off and then you can take this. You pop it in. It clicks. And then voila. Oh my lord. You have a little kitty. A kitty lipstick that is so freaking cute I cannot use these until I get like a proper picture of them that one was shade 500 all right here we've got oh that's so cute there with the little hearts and the, or the little lips there's shade 600 it's a little pink cat and then here is shade 700 which is a little red cat I'm sorry I'm a mess but it's so freaking cute okay my camera doesn't want to focus on the cat but you can kind of see it there so thank you so much to paul and joe i will definitely be using those very soon i have been loving their lipstick formula all right next i have a little package from kalon cosmetics and i'm pretty sure that this is their new antique eyeshadows okay so i think that there are nine new single shadows in here i'm gonna oh gosh gonna try and show you really quickly I'm going to have to pop these out and put them in a palette. They've got like some really pretty copper shades. Little white shade, which obviously always draws me in. I'm obsessed with light shades, but there's like a antique bronze. A little purple. So all the shadows came perfectly intact. There's a really pretty deeper purple here. Alright, so if you want to see a full video on their new collection, definitely let me know and I can do that and swatch them and show them all to you and maybe do like a quick little eye look or something. I'm not sure. Hmm, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea, but thank you so much to Kalon Cosmetics. I always, I realize I always forget to say thank you, but I mean, it's not because I'm not thankful. I just forget. So thank you so much. Oh wait, why am I, I'm putting them over there, but they came in like this cute little carton. So let me just put them back. All right, next we have like practically a flat envelope, but I know what is in here. So this is the Sigma F75 brush. I mentioned in a video recently about how mine cracked on the bottom. It was so weird. And so I decided to contact them partly because I was just curious about their warranty because they're supposed to have a two year guarantee on all their brushes. And they did replace it super fast and easy. So I'm really happy with that and glad it's a new brush. And also it just makes me glad to be affiliated and not, not just affiliate, just using a brand that like genuinely takes care of their like customers and their they make sure that their brushes are good quality because there are some brands where like yes you get a good deal initially but if they don't last in the long run what's the point because brushes have to last like I've had Sigma brushes for like six years now that are still going strong all right this next little package here I already opened but that was just my Midas Cosmetics lemonade palette which is the only thing I bought from them it's just a super beautiful yellow palette all right next we have a little package from amy hearts beauty and i believe that this is their summer collection if you're not familiar with them they are a really cool indie brand i have quite a few videos on my channel talking about them and showcasing their products and whatnot i've done a video on like all their collections so you can definitely find information but okay this oh goodness okay oh my okay <laughs> sorry got overwhelmed for a second okay there's I believe that this is a like beach towel. I believe that's what this is. And I think it says maybe my beach is better. I'm not gonna unfold it right now because it'll be everywhere, but I'll like leave a picture on screen of what it ends up looking like, which thank you so much for including this. I was not expecting that at all. 
And then they have these new pride jellies, which they did kind of warn me that I guess they're having a problem with them like leaking and I can kind of feel that it is a little bit sticky. So I'm not going to go into these yet. I'm going to wait till I'm like by a sink so I can try and clean up any mess that there is. But I believe that they switched the formula a little bit like they tinkered with it so that that wouldn't be a problem in shipping anymore. So I'm just gonna leave that to the side. I will definitely get to those. They're like a bunch of different, I think they're like jellies in different colors. And then we've got another little box within here. All right, so on the top of the little box, they have four new lippies. And I believe that these three are glosses. And I think this is supposed to be like a satin finish, which definitely excited to try that. But mostly I'm excited for coconut milk because it's a clear gloss and I really love their gloss formula. So coconut milk will be on my lips ASAP. Super excited about those. Uh, and to try the new formula just because who doesn't love trying a new formula? Okay, so last but not least, they included two of their My Beach is Better palettes. One for me to obviously use and the other for a giveaway. So I think I'm going to do a full video on the collection and that's when I'll give away the palette to one of y'all. So this is super beautiful actually. The packaging is a beach. I don't know how I didn't realize that. But here is what the palette looks like. So there's some like warm tones, some pops of color, some like green tones. Overall a, soft, a softer color scheme, but it's very beautiful. I am, I am definitely tempted to make an Amy Hearts Beauty order because they came out with these new uh, like uh, flaky things. I don't even know if I'll end up liking them because I can be very picky, but the, I saw uh, Julie. Julie, I can't remember her full account name, but I'll make sure to leave a little picture here. She does swatch of Catch a Wave or Catch the Wave or something, and it looked absolutely stunning. So I really want to try those in the near future, but very excited to try that out. All right, next I have an order that I made myself, and I am so excited to open this palette. Oh my goodness. I pre-ordered this, I believe, April 1st. It's finally here. I was so sad because I got the notification that it was delivered and I'm like, really? Like I've been waiting since April and it comes when I'm not home. Like that's just pure torture. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Did I even say what this is? This is the Menagerie Cosmetics Whale Song palette. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love palettes. Okay, so here's what it looks like wow the detail and everything on this it is so beautiful in person okay everything is intact looks like oh it is stunning oh my gosh the blues the greens i have to say right off the bat i every picture i see of this i literally get so annoyed when i look at the shade pearl because i feel like it doesn't go with the palette at all like it's just so like it's like a champagne neutral like I think I am going to end up popping that shade out and putting it in a different single palette and putting like a light blue icy shade in there because I feel like it's just necessary with this palette and I don't really like that shade look from looking at it but everything else looks absolutely beautiful so so excited to use this and take pictures of it and I might end up filming with this tonight later on after my son falls asleep I might do it because I'm so excited. And then they were very kind because they whew, they had some struggle getting this palette out, but they kept everyone updated the whole time. They were super open. They even did like an Instagram video so you could see their faces and like hear them talking, which I think is really, I think it's good business because sometimes words can just look so flat, but actually hearing their explanations was really nice. And they said that for anyone who ordered the Whale Song palette on pre-order, they would be allowed to choose two liquid lipsticks to put in their order because they felt apologetic for the long wait, which I was super excited about because I almost ordered this lipstick, but I was like, don't do it, Amy. Don't do it, just pay for shipping and move on with your life. So I didn't order it, but I have it here in either way. This is the shade Catfight. Is that not the most stunning red liquid lipstick you've ever seen in your life? Like this looks so beautiful. I was looking up so many different swatches and trying to watch every video of someone using this lipstick and I'm so excited because my favorite lip lipstick that I love is like red lipstick for a long time. It's gone bad and when I wear it, it crumbles very, very fast now. So I'm so excited to try this formula too. And then the other shade that I ended up getting is the shade Darian, which this is like a super, super light nude. Oh, well, it's not as light, light as I thought it was. It's kind of grazy. I thought it was like way lighter than that. Huh. 
but either way super beautiful it's more on the cool tone side so I think it'll look cool with the whale song palette I wanted to get one lipstick that I could use with the palette at the same time but the cat fight shade I just knew just knew I had to have it which that was one of the like if I didn't get that for free I would have ended up purchasing it eventually like it's been on my wish list all right next I've got a little package from pixie beauty here I'm just gonna go ahead and open up and I'm pretty sure I know what's in here because I've seen a few other people unbox this on their Instagram stories Pixie is one of those brands, oh gosh, and I dropped my scissors. Pixie is one of those brands where they're pretty good about like having good relations with smaller, smaller influencers, which I think is pretty cool. So here's what it looks like. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Vitamin C Daily Dose of Skin Brightening, and it says for all skin types. And then it says prepared for Amy, which I think is super cute, personalized and everything. So this is just skincare. Pixie is so overwhelming with their skincare because I feel like I'm always trying something new from them. Ooh, vitamin C juice cleanser. That sounds, that sounds really nice. <laughs> There's a caviar balm. Ooh, I love the rose balm. Okay. A vitamin C lotion, a vitamin C serum, and something else. Maybe a toner that I can't see. I'm not really familiar. I'm not the best with skincare. If anyone is familiar with this, do you know, is vitamin C the one skincare thing where like if you use it, you have to be really careful to use SPF, like extra SPF, and not to wear vitamin C outside, or is that something else? I feel like there's something where you're supposed to do that, but I can't remember because skincare is not my forte. I just use whatever I have, but I think this is super cute little package, and I'm very grateful, so thank you, Pixie. All right, so next I have a package from Spoiled Cosmetics. I have no idea what's in here. It's actually funny because I went to my P.O. box this morning to get this one with my son, and he was insistent on holding this. He's literally only two years old. He was insistent that he had to hold this box, and it's got some really good weight to it. So I was like, are you sure? Like, are you sure you want to hold that? But he would not let go. All right, so they've got a little card in here that says you that they do a bi-monthly palette, which is cool, 16 color palettes with a mirror. And then they also have a code here, which is the save 20, if you want to save 20% off the order. So first off, there's some lipstick trios. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So this one is really beautiful. It's like it's some purple shades. That looks stunning, but I'm so intrigued by this set because I think that's like the lightest liquid lipstick I've ever seen. Like that almost looks like a concealer shade. So the purpley one says is number one and the nude one is number two. So definitely excited to play with those. They are very clinky. All right, next there is a little palette here. Okay, I'm not really sure what the names or any of the palettes are. I feel bad opening this because I'm like, I wanna make sure that if I open anything completely that I'm going to end up using it. So I'll be very, very careful um, because you know, when I get PR, I do try to be conscious, conscientious to put things into giveaways or friends or whatever, because I want to, Oh my Lord. No, I'm keeping it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be selfish. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is the Royal volume nine palette. Okay. There are two like lightly pressed glitters, which isn't my favorite, but the color scheme of this overall, like look at all those purples and blues. Wow, I was not expecting that. That is so beautiful. Here's what the packaging looks like. Next is this palette here. Again, not really sure what the name is on the outside. I mean, it just says Spoiled Cosmetics, which is the company name. Actually, I think I can see this one on their little card and it looks really bright and neon. Oh, well, that's a cute pack. The packaging is super cute, actually. Okay, all right. So this does have more pressed glitters in it, which is not my favorite, but here's what it looks like. I think the packaging and everything on that one is super cute, but I think I actually am going to save that one for a giveaway just because I really don't need another rainbow palette and the pressed glitters isn't my absolute favorite, but I'm definitely going to use the royalty palette. All right, we've got one more little palette in here, which is like pink, so I'm curious to see what this ends up being. All right, so here's what this one looks like. Packaging, I mean, super cute. They're definitely doing something interesting here. I mean, I feel like this is half neutral with some fun pops of color. So thank you to Spoiled Cosmetics for that package. So excited to try the Royalty Palette and the Liquid Lipsticks. I think will be super fun to play with it as well, especially with the purple tones. All right, so this last package here took all of my self-control to wait and open with y'all because it's from Too Faced. And I don't know, it was just so weird because they emailed me and asked me for my address 
and I like looked up the person who emailed me to make sure that they were like a real person. It wasn't just someone playing with me because like Too Faced is such a huge brand that I've been using for so long. And although I don't love every single thing that they do, definitely they've had some hits and misses. It just felt so weird for such a big brand to contact me. I believe that's the first like huge, huge brand where it's like everyone knows who they are. So I don't know. It just felt very weird. I just like uh, me, you, me. So I, I don't know. I felt like it was fake, <laughs> but I gave my address anyways. It was real, I guess, apparently, because there's a package here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Oh, I love that. Okay, I have to read this with y'all. I don't know if you're already familiar with this, but Too Faced has a little card here. It says, hey, gorgeous, we love you, and we love the full transparency and honesty you show your readers. Just a reminder to disclose in each post when you receive compensation, products, experiences, services, or significant gifts from us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate a brand taking the time to say like, please disclose because so many people don't. I mean, I always do. I just appreciate them doing that little reminder for some people who might need the reminder. So, all right, this is Born This Way. Okay, okay. So this is their new powder. Favorite foundation now comes in powder form. <laughs> this is actually hysterical because I was just having a conversation with my best friend like, roasting powder foundations uh <laughs> all right so here's what it looks like okay i literally know nothing about this product so don't mind me okay it said oh that's cool too it said we tried our best to choose the three shades that would match you for all seasons but if we got it wrong let us know honestly i wear the same shade every single season i feel personally attacked right now okay so there's like a super light shade Another super light shade. <laughs> Those aren't the same shade. <laughs> okay. All right. So it said it adheres like a second skin. It has 12 hour wear, full coverage in seconds, non drying, creamy, and undetectable. I don't know what to believe. These are, these shades are all so close that I was like, well, if one's a little bit too dark for me, I'll give it to my best friend. Um, she's, she's a decent amount darker than me, but these, what are the shades? They look so similar. Okay, cloud, cloud. Cl <laughs> they are the same shade. <laughs> we tried our best to match you for every season. I got the lightest shade for every season. Okay, now I really do feel personally attacked. That is hysterical. I definitely, definitely don't need three of the same shades. But honestly, I'll probably maybe pass this on to my mom and my sister. Oh, I just, wow, I just took off the name with that. I, I don't know why I think that's so hysterical. They really are the same shade. Okay. Anyways, the packaging looks nice. And then it says born this way. And then it flips up and it has a little puff. So, I mean, I will definitely try it and see. I have not worn powder foundation in years. I think the shade might be too light for me. Maybe I'll end up liking this to like highlight the like lighter parts of my skin. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. I'm curious. They also included their Mr. Perfect foundation brush, which feels pretty soft. I do have the Mr. Perfect or no, I think I have the Mr. Right brush, which is like a bronzer brush, which I actually really like. I've had it for a few years. I think I literally only bought it because of the little bow tie. So now I've got two bow ties, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm... I mean, I'm open to trying it. I still just can't go over the fact that my seasons, they sent me all three of the same shade. I just think it's hysterical. But that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely let me know. And I probably won't do anything like this for a long time. Just because, like, for one, I'm impatient and I open things as soon as I get them. Um, even waiting 24 hours to do this video was very hard. I normally don't just don't like let things build up so one last thing before I go I do just want to say a quick thank you to y'all because I feel like obviously without you and your viewership and your subscribing and liking and commenting and all the things that you do to be active and your friendships and like everything that there is to do with being a subscriber thank you because I know that a lot of the reason why I'm receiving this PR is because of y'all it's it's like a it's like a mutual thing like 
I mean, I put work out there, but then you guys watch it and you respond to it. So thank you so much for doing that. I really do appreciate you and who you are as a subscriber and as a person. And I'm not going to get like emotional or weird because I don't really like to do that, but I genuinely do thank you guys who watch this and who watch me and watch my videos and all that so so much so that's everything i'm sorry i feel like i'm not speaking very elegantly like i'm very like like not getting my point across but anyways i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day bye